GSL Super Tournament. I am Moltrap. Here with me is Wolf, and uh, we are super excited to be casting the last day, the final day of the round of 64. After today, it will only be the round of 32. This is the last time you'll ever get to watch the round of 64 live. That's very oh. true. But it's going to be great. It we is got some be great. interesting matches here today. Um, again, you know, I keep saying this like every day we cast, but uh, I'm going to say it one more time. We've got matches that you kind of wouldn't expect. Like, you wouldn't say, you know what, my perfect match to watch would be SC versus Hyperdub. You wouldn't say that, but I think it's going to be interesting regardless. Yeah. Uh, the matches today, we got Top versus August. That actually could be very interesting. Xenio versus Choya. It's going to be quite interesting as well. And Maka versus Nobles. So a lot of names that we haven't heard for a while or we haven't heard much from, but I think it's still going to be pretty good. Yeah, I really like Maka as a player and as a person. He's a nice guy. Um, I've talked to him a few times. His English is really good. Last time I talked to him, he uh, we were just having a normal conversation about you know Terran versus Protoss, I think it was, and then he just suddenly started uh, typing in chat the songs to uh, a Queen song or the lyrics to a Queen song. And I was like. <laughs> Maka, why are you so awesome? <laughs> I often do that as well, just in general. Talk, start, start singing Queen, although I might not be cool as, as cool as Maka. It was Killer Queen, I um, think. Anyway, we're going to check out the match results from yesterday, though. Review those real quick. Line, TT, took out Jinro. Yeah, that was a little bit unusual. Uh, that was disappointing, but um, Line played pretty well. And uh, Kyrix, of course, took out Bon Bon. Hoso Bon Bon. The uh, Forbidden Dance, the Hoso Bon Bon. <laughs> and uh, Startail Virus played very well against Junwi. Junwi really slaughtered him in game two, but Virus came back, did a nice little all in in game three. And Nada really showed that he was the superior player to Zenix Koka, despite the fact that Koka knew Code S player. Uh, those are some great matches. Definitely go and check those out. And uh, here's what we have today again to review we've got OGS Top versus Startail August. OGS Zenio versus Choya, that should be pretty interesting. SC Foyu versus Hyperdub, Hyperdub kind of an old favorite. Maka Prime versus MVP Noble S, formerly Cute Foyu, I believe. I believe so. Um, yeah, yeah, it should be good stuff. Um, yeah, I actually, now that you mention it, that last match, I'm actually kind of looking forward to that now. Like Maka versus Noble S. Maka's like the old school player. Who like hasn't been showing very good results at all lately? Nobles is kind of like the new school player who also hasn't been showing very good results lately. So it's kind of like a proving ground for both. Yeah, of them. Both, both of them, them really need themselves. that match to kind of like keep their careers alive. You know? Yeah, Maka he kind of developed his own style, and Nobles. I don't know if you remember. We're gonna go ahead and look at the players now. I was gonna say Nobles actually showed us a really interesting TBT style with Ghosts. But here, first we have OGS Top, actually did really well in the first open season, and then was in Code A, the first Code A season, but immediately yeah. did extremely well, actually, I believe he won that. Yeah, he, he won, was actually, he yeah, won the first Code A Code champ, a. then yep. jumped right up into Code S, and he's been there ever since. Yep. His TBT rate has been pretty, pretty good, but he hasn't done so well in Code S, not as well as I think he has the potential to do, Moltrap. Yeah, no, he's, uh, and he's especially, of course, had his uh, disappointing Terran versus Terran of late was his uh, um, games against Nada. Nada took him out 3-1 last season. That's how he uh, got out in the round of eight. So, but before that, you know, he beat Supernova, who's a very good uh, TVD player in Code S. And uh, anyway, but here's our his opponent, Startail August, who's been kind of sticking around and sticking around. Um, he was in Code A. Just barely made it to the round of 16. You need to get advance one round to stay in Code A. So he did that. And then uh, I believe that's supposed to be March. He was in Code A March as well. And then Code A May, he got out in the round of 32. So he kind of like stayed in and stayed in. And then last season just didn't quite get that first win to stay in again. Yeah. He was eliminated, but he has been in a few seasons. So here he is in the Super Tournament as well. And... Yeah, he could do. S I, I, you know, to be honest, it was such a long time ago. I, I don't remember what his games were like uh, against Yu-Gi-Oh this season, but I remember 
I do remember he got pr beat pretty badly, and Yu-Gi-Oh isn't a very strong player, so again, um, August definitely the underdog here in yeah. this situation. I think he really wants to prove himself. This may be his last chance in the GSL if he doesn't requalify. So, yeah. you know, it's really, really important for him to lose this game. It would be so bad for his career. Of course, he is on the team Startail. Formerly was on uh, in the clan Wera uh, some months ago before that clan disbanded. And Top, I think, is always has been a solid player and is going to be a really scary opponent for him. Yeah, Top, of course, uh, is a very, very solid TVT player. I mean, he won, a, if I remember correctly, a TVT Finals. He did. Against Lucera. Yeah, TVT against Fiona, I believe. Anyway, we're going to get underway into game one to see if Top can bring it home or if August can get an upset here at the GSL Super Tournament. OGS Top versus Starkill August. And here is our Purple Terran player. He has a 63% win rate against other Terrans. He is. Sorry, I got confused there for a minute because our monitor is a little cut off, and today the names are cut off a tiny bit. <laughs> I had to figure out who was who. And here is his competitor, has uh, barely not stayed in Code A this last season. He is Star August. Startail August, who is, I believe, I'm going to double check, three and four versus Terran. Not as much experience. And yes, indeed, three wins and four losses. Lost recently to the STC, kind of a sleeper player in the Asia Champions Trophy Tournament. This DC is kind well, of like one of those guys that was good in beta, and everyone says he's good even though he hasn't done anything yet. He's coming back. He actually, I believe, just got released from his military service. Oh, so is that why that. he hasn't been And oh, okay. he, uh, he's coming back, rumor has it. And I've actually seen him play a lot of TVTs in, in particular, and his TVT is awesome, Moltrap, so okay. nothing to s sneeze at. Okay, well, <laughs> if August had beat him, that might mean something, but he lost to him, so this is more of a boon for the STC instead. August? Looks like he's gonna be fast expanding Moltrap. He doesn't have gas yet. Oh my goodness. Man, it looks like he's gonna go for a gasless expand. Well, this is fast expand altar. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I mean Taldarim altar. Silly me. A map designed for long, drawn out macro games, and sometimes in TVT, that's just what you see. And there's the CC now going down at the natural. Very bold move to make it at the natural, but on this map with a secondary ramp, you usually can hold it. Yep, and sorry, getting my color straight here. Top is just going ahead and building, I believe, yes, a factory behind his little wall. Does not appear to be looking to expand just yet. He's going to put on a little pressure first. Yeah. Now, the thing about Top is that he actually doesn't know what his opponent is doing at all yet. His SCB is yeah. on its way, as you see now on the screen. And that's going to be kind of tough for him to deal with if he doesn't know what his opponent's doing. Because when he gets there and sees the command center, he's going to immediately switch into harassment mode. He's got to do some sort of harassment to get yeah. his uh, pressure going, keep his SCB count low, his opponent's SCB count low. Yeah, definitely. You can't just let him get away with that fast extend. But here's the thing. That SCB is going the long, 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 long way. Nope, he's actually going to cut across the middle, by the way. So he's going to save himself one scouting point. And that's kind of a good move. He kind of anticipated because his the August SCV got into his base so fast, he knew it must be close. So he's going to scout him a little bit quicker than I was expecting. But still, it might be too late to do anything about this fast expansion. He does see the command center with that SCV before it dies. And there is a tech lab on the factory. Starport's finishing up, so it's looking like it's going to be Banshees. Banshees. Which, against a gas, this expand is really, really easy to pull off. As long as you have good Banshee control, your opponent doesn't have any Vikings pull trap, doesn't have any stim. One Banshee can kill like Infinity Marines. Yeah, and he's gonna his stim is gonna be so late. Uh, I, does uh, August have a Tech Lab? Is that what you're talking about? Earlier? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Starting cloak immediately. No, does, does August have? Oh, a tech August. Lab? He can't even research stim right now. No, he no, cannot. he's he's nowhere near stim. He went so, straight into factory. So yeah, those Marines are gonna be hard pressed to catch up with those Banshees. But here comes the Marine pressure at the front, and Top actually he brought. He's bringing some of his Marines out, but he's not targeting down his opponent's Marines, and the Supply Depot looks like it's going to fall. Does get that SCP out, but not in time. A little bit poor control by Top. He probably could have done something about that a little bit better. 
and not lost that depot. He is now supply block. Comscan goes down right on the tech lab on the starport, so August knows exactly what's going on. He's bringing his brains home to defend against Banshees, which may even be in the air. As far as he knows, there's one about to complete. It looks like August is going right for Raven Tech. He has switched the factory. Going to land that starport, most likely on the tech lab, tech lab to get a Raven out. That's clever. Very smart choice. Now he does have a few moments left on that cloak, but I don't think he's going to get in oh, there. Oh, August scout is trying to trap the Banshee, but he's not going to see it. Oh, nice. That was clever, but it did not quite work out. Trying to catch it on the path into his base, and now turret going up, though. Yeah, so turret okay. is on the way. He's getting a few kills here. Trying to build that turret. The Raven is a long way from being done. And actually, Top doesn't even... He's, he's got Cloak, but he's not even using it quite yet, which is smart. Doesn't really need to. Yeah. There yeah. he goes, using it now. And August does have some scans, but he wants to be able to scan at the right moment. And that was... Almost barely, the right moment. Barely not the right moment. Uh, well, it was kind of the right moment. He did a lot of damage, but Banshee with 14 hit points continues to pick off SCVs. I think the top should probably just bring it home and repair it at this point. Uh, new Banshee coming in, though. She wants to see what she can do, but the Raven is out. Chases that down. Oh, got to be careful with that Banshee top. Nice control there. Flying around that middle oh. area. Okay, he needs to be really careful. He should probably just get out of here with that Banshee, actually. He's going to do... Not much more damage, and he's probably going to lose it. You want to keep your Banshees if possible. It's actually something that a lot of pros do, is they just kind of suicide their Banshee for an extra SCV, and it's not really worth it if you can repair that and use it in the battle later. Exactly. But did get 12 kills between the two of them. Nice. And Top actually has a pretty sizable army now. He's moving out across the middle of the map. And August, he's trying to find those Banshees with that oh, Raven. Oh, and he's going like he to find it. It's almost dead. One more shot will do it. Oh! Nice save. Is he repairing? Yeah, he was repairing those Banshees in the middle of the field, so that's good if he can get those Banshees into, into battle. In the meantime, t August, since he got that tech lab anyway, he's now researching Cloak and getting Banshees. Yeah, actually, Top playing this really smart. He's moving forward. He knows he damaged all those Marines. He knew there weren't very many of them, and to move forward with Siege Mode like this at this timing oh. is very clever indeed. Here he comes. Going to target down that bunker before it finishes. Oh, it finishes just in time. Does he have enough SCVs to repair, though? Top can basically just camp outside of here. Target that bunker down. Yeah, he's not quite within range to pick off the SCVs, but hold that thought. He is going to be able to pick off the SCVs with the Banshee. Gets some damage, but the, but the Viking again with the Raven. is able to do so much. And he actually got within range of the Marines in that bunker, so he's going to lose both his Banshees without doing very much. Third Banshee comes in, dies immediately, but he does take down the bunker. That's huge mole trap because now the Marines can buffer for these siege tanks. He has to be very careful though of August's Banshee, which does now have Cloak. He's going to target down these siege tanks, oh, but there is a scan. loses it immediately. August and is in trouble, mole trap. He's yeah. losing a lot here. Yeah, August forced to lift, and oh, look at that. Top's SCVs blocking August's SCVs from getting away from the siege tank. He loses a couple more. And this is looking really bad for August because especially Top is expanding in the background of this. So he cut off August's expansion and is getting his own. And August may just die here to this push. Yeah, in fact, I think that's very likely. Top does now have his own two siege tanks. Trying to be very that. careful. Banshee flying into trouble. Oh, loses the Banshee, and losing so many Marines, he's being so careless with those Marines. And the last, that last shot took out that Siege Tank, now it's just one Siege Tank to three, and August is in so much trouble, Top can almost just attack move into his base. Uh, yeah, he probably could at this point. It makes sense for him to just kind of be a little bit cautious, he doesn't want to get caught off guard with something like that. Nice point defense drone. A nice drone. little point defense drone in some Siege Mode defense could be bad for him, so he's just taking it easy, shelling those buildings, and... Pushing in slowly, and August, you know,